Welcome back to um, our home garden and uh, on a lovely summer's evening at the end of August. And I just wanted to point out what's happened to our roses. This is a rose that we featured before and we seem to get flower after flower after flower on this. This has been flowering since I would say late May. And what we do is as each flower goes over, we, uh, we cut them back, it's called deadheading and you can see that um, here is one in action there so you can see that we we cut it back there probably a, a week or two back cut off the dead flower uh, the flower was probably up here somewhere we cut it back cut off the dead flower and here's what's happening you can see that little shoot starting to come out there and uh, these are from some that we cut back probably back in late June and a couple of months later they produce these gorgeous I mean, look at this. That is just perfect, isn't it? And I think it's got to get, get the old crook's nose on that. Lovely, very delicate perfume. I love the way that the, the evening kind of dappled sunlight kind of uh, makes the, uh, the colours kind of dance around there in the shadows. And there's some more that we probably pruned a couple of weeks later that are just producing the buds now. So they're going to be in flower into September. And I think these ones here will be into uh, October. So um, we've had them flowering as late as probably November, certainly, maybe even on a mild autumn uh, through until uh, early December. So if your roses have flowered, cut off the dead flowers, give them a bit of food, a bit of fertilizer with the old um, high potash rose food. And hey presto, you could have flowers well into the autumn.